So hello everyone. Uh, I am Pavani, working as an uh, assistant professor in CSE ML department, MLR Institute of Technology. Uh, today, uh, I would like to give a session on spelling error detection and correction in board level analysis of one of the application in natural language processing. Coming to the overview of today's session is, uh, uh, let's say, uh, discussion about the induction and spell checker processes, how the spelling is uh, checking is going. Right, categories, spell checker categories and challenges. How we are writing the code. It means next one words and word classes. This is all we are covering in spelling error detection and correction. It's coming to introduction. Coming to introduction. Let's see what is the meaning of spell spelling error detection and grammar. Whenever we are find out the one spelling, that means that means spell check is a process we call it as it is called as a spell check that process we call as a spell check it is a process used to detect used to detect used to detect misspelled words in a text and provide suggestions for corrections it means it provides suggestions for the correction what are the uh, required word correct word it will suggest in whenever computing a spell checker is a tool that flags a potential errors and offers the corrections. Let's see that here uh, some paragraph. The grammar and spell checker it contains some misspellings like uh, let's see here actual word is misspellings right. It suggests that spelling mistake. Let's see the other type of spelling mistake effect. Let's see. A F F E C T. Next thing, commas, punctuation mistake. We hear extra comma, unnecessary comma in a compound object. This is one type of, these are different different types of the errors whenever we are uh, uh, typing the document. Next, grammar mistake, issues, not only but also, okay, right? Punctuation mistake, like grammar mistake. These are all different types of errors. Next, see the spell checking. How the spell checking is process? First, a basic spell checker carries out the following process. Text scanning and word comparison, morphological handling, errors classification. There are five processing, uh, processing strategies are there. First one, text scanning. First, it scans the text. After that, comparison the text. Uh, with what the comparison will learn by the dictionary. Next, morphological handling. That means morphological handling means morphological parsing is we are applying some uh, rules to the uh, text. Next, error classification and find out the errors as a real world errors or non real world errors. There are two types of errors are there real world errors, errors and non real world errors. Finally, use the citations. That means correct citations provides the correct citations. These are the following process of the spell checker next one i already discussed right we uh, we have two types of errors right real world errors and non real world errors right here see the first what is the meaning of real world errors correctly spelled but conceptually in incorrect words what were instead of pair that means we are uh, spelling is incorrect that means we are the pronunciation is correct but uh, the sentence of word uh, is incorrect here bear instead of pair next see the another uh, second one non word errors that means words that do not exist in the dictionary that means these, these words are not there in the dictionary we call it as a non word errors see the example intelligence instead of intelligence here see the l is missed right here let's see the slight differences intelligence intelligence both the pronunciation same but there is a uh, 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 grammatically mistake that means it is not there in a dictionary <coughs> let's see the example what is the input sentence creativity is the intelligence having fun here intelligence is a wrong that means find out error see the suggestions intelligence intelligency miss intelligence we have the some suggested corrections we can add a creativity is the intelligence or intelligency based on the uh, that term creativity is having fun we can add that particular word, correct word. 
Next, whenever we are doing a spell checker, we are facing some challenges. What is the first one? Real word errors. Second one, proper noun. Next one, homo phones. And next, typing mistakes. Real word errors. What is the meaning of real word errors? Hard to detect without the context analysis. Without we knowing the context, we cannot find out the real word errors. Next, proper noun. Names and technical terms may be incorrectly flagged. It means sometimes we, we write correct, but technically it is some for wrong. Homophones. Words that sounds the same, but are spelled differently. Uh, like uh, some words we can pronounce it is uh, correct, but that are spelled. Uh, example, see intelligence, intelligence, both are, we, we are pronouncing the same, but the error is some, we are missed the double L. We are wrote only single, that is the uh, homophones. Typing mistakes, uh, error caused by the keyboard proximity. Uh, daily we are facing this type of mistakes. Automatically it shows the some uh, similar to the sentence, uh, words, cut words. Let's see the syntax code. Whenever we are executing this code in Python, first we have to install the pip install pys, that means py python spell checker. Next, from spell checker, import the spell checker. That means after that importing, we are creating the object. That means spell checker function. After uh, creating the object, we have to find out the misspelled words. That means spelling error detection and correction. How we have to find out the spelling error detection? By splitting the words. That means we have sentence. That is, see the sentence example. Spelling error detection correction is the sentence. First, we have to split the sentences. That means we have to divide the sentence into tokens. After splitting that, we have to find out the cut words. First, find out the error words. Then, find out the cut words. So, this is the cut words. How we are finding out it. Spell correction is automatically whenever we are writing a wrong word, it automatically shows the some red color, right? Error, right? Like this. Next, after after find out the misspelled words, next join the cut words into the sentences. Finally, original text after that cut the text. So let's see the example. Text is spelling error detection. Here error is the wrong, detection is the wrong. Next, what is the cut output? Spelling error detection and correction. This is the actual output. This is uh, some scenario about the syntax, spelling and detection correction. Next, uh, next last uh, topic uh, in word level analysis, words and word classes. What is the meaning of words and word classes? Word classes are the noun, noun, uh, noun verb phrase. That means adjective, adjective, adverb in proposition determines. This is a so, let's see the definition. Words in a language is classified into lexical categories. Lexical categories means nouns, verbs like this. Also known as a parts of speech. Of the, we call it as a word classes. Sometimes we call it as a parts of speech. means POS. These categories defines the syntactic and morphological behavior. These word classes define the syntactic morphology and syntactic and morphological behavioral structure of the words. The most common likely lexical categories are noun, verbs, other includes adjectives, adverb, preposition, and this is all, all called as a word classes. Let's see the summary of the table. Here, abbreviation is noun and category is a noun. Right? Example, student, chair, proof, mechanism is all comes under noun phrase. Verb, study, increase, produce, adjective, large, high, tall, few. These are all a verb class, uh, some uh, word classes. Ad adverb, carefully, slowly, uniformly. Next, preposition, in, on, to, of. Next, pronoun, I, me, they. These are all examples of the these abbreviations. That means categories, different types of categories in the word classes. Terminer, the, a, and these, those. These are all the some categories. It shows the some of the word classes in English. Categories may, may vary from language to language. We already know, well known that uh, uh, the word, words are different from the language to language. That means the word classes are different in English and other languages. From language to language, it will vary. Next, see, 
lexical categories are divided into open and closed word classes let's see there are two types of word classes open word classes and closed word classes first of all open classes frequently acquire new words that means whenever whenever we call open classes that is called as acquire new words that means it means it requires a new words closed classes remains mostly fixed and rarely it may change that means we cannot change uh, uh, back to back only sometimes it may change uh, like uh, worst case uh, here noun verbs adjectives adverbs are open when we call it as a open classes that, that cla the, those are nouns verbs adjectives adverbs interjections are the some open classes open word classes preposition auxiliary verbs delimiters are conjunctions are the closed these 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 uh, sometimes only uh, some few uh, times you need only change it will not uh, change every time noun verbs adjectives will change uh, for sentence to sentence this is all about the words and word classes at means self spelling error detection correction in this session we discussed about the what is the introduction about the spelling error detection and correction how the spell checker is possess and categories of the spell checking and the challenges what which type of challenges we are facing in, uh, whenever we find out the spell checking next uh, we did a sample code and next words and word classes thank you